Well, good morning. At least good morning for me. Uh, welcome back. Yes, I'm bundled up. I'm cold. Uh, but, you know, Beto's here working. He's doing, I'll show you here in a second, but he's we're doing a service on a Power Stroke 6.7. And I got a Chevy Silverado here. And the thing is, what I wanted to talk about was uh, codes, how they're set up on a Chevrolet GM application. So let's get going looking at that. All right, we got, uh, there's Beto over there working on that truck, doing service. But when you pull codes out of a Chevrolet, you know, we're gonna pull codes out of this puppy and I'm gonna see categories. Again, this is the difference between a generic auto parts special scan tool that many have, not all, but many do. And you're gonna see I got DTC display, which is diagnostic trouble code. I got not run or failed since code cleared. And then I got not run or failed since ignition cycle. But right now I'm just gonna look at display of codes. Okay, so we're gonna look at that. And we're gonna see we got two codes. Exhaust gas recirculation, PO402, right there. And then we got the P0672 on this truck, right? Well, the thing is, GM takes it a step further. Now, unlike Ford, Ford has Keon engine off, uh, Keon engine running self tests. There's no such thing as that on a GM product. So in this case, if I go to the main menu, that's the main menu for codes. This is very typical of other scan tools. I'm gonna to see display codes, right, which we just saw. And then we got freeze frame failure records. Now freeze frame is something that's mandated by law where you get data. In other words, a little bit of data, which kind of sucks nowadays. It used to be nice on earlier vehicles, but in other words, here's the two codes we saw earlier, right? So we are in freeze frame failure records. And what I can see here is I click on this button and I could see, oops, wrong button. Let's go back over here, hit that. And what I should be able to see is the data that came with the code. So therefore, when this code set, it's like taking a picture. And what it did, it says, this is the coolant temperature, what it was, the mass airflow, the ambient air temperature, EGR position, accelerator pedal position there, you know, all that. And then we got engine speed, engine air temp, barrel, desired EGR, and a fuel rail pressure desired in other words actual fuel rail pressure so it would have been nice to tell me what the desired was when i'm dealing with fuel rail pressure issues but what it is is just a picture of stuff the data that you can view in other words what was the vehicle doing when the code set so it's helpful information now by law freeze frame failure record only holds one code only one but general motors like the idea of giving you data with a code that they actually enhanced it by calling it failure record so therefore this is the failure record which is the same thing like freeze frame but the law from fail, uh, freeze frame stated from obd2 law stated that um we can only see you know data only for <coughs> the first emission related failure so anytime we talk about freeze frame we're talking about emission related failures that's what we're talking about there so so in this case that's what we see coming on so again there's my uh Again, glow plug code, we just saw the data. I'm trying to get the data on this one. I guess my Scanto's having a hard time. This is where uh, a nice OE Scanto versus my uh, my Zeus sometimes, but you'll notice I'm not, it's not, I don't know what it's doing, but it happens from time to time with the Scanto's. But I rarely use it anyway, so that's why I'm not too worried about it, but that's what it tells you. So remember, a code is a test. The So when I get a code out of a General Motors product like the Duramax that I'm working on here. This is an LBZ motor. I go, okay, let me start over again. I go display codes, right? Okay, give me the code here, what's going on. Obviously, I follow the diagnostic process, like the battery suck on this, it has low on oil. I probably got some carbon accumulation causing my EGR code, but I'm not gonna worry about that now. I'm just telling you the procedures that we follow when we diagnose codes, okay? So there's my PO402, right? All right, so there's my PO672. I want to know the status of those codes because a code is a test, okay? Code is a test. It's testing, testing. So when you have a code set, that means it failed. So I go over here to not run or sense code, but I like the other one. Let me go back, and that is DTC status. Now, once again, I'm going to type in the code. And excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. And I'm going to type in with my key here, uh, PO402. That's the one we just saw. I want to know what's going on with it right now, because even with the key on, the onboard computer or PCM powertrain control module should be testing. So there you go. This ignition cycle, what's it doing? It hasn't ran the test yet. Since it last cleared, it has failed. 
And then last test that it ever performed, guess what? It passed. Look at that. Now, is it in history? It's probably in history. No, it's not. It's not in history. It's not historical code. And is it requesting the mill light, better known as a check engine light? And the answer is no. So he's not requesting the check engine light. So that's the P0402. So let's get out of here. Now, the other code we had, I have a short-term memory here. Let me see. What was the other code? The P0402 and the 6... 672, there it is, the PO670. So we just looked at the status of the PO402, and this is the status of the PO672. So again, PO672. <clears throat> come on. Come on, come on. See the, my joy of my scan tool. All right, we saw the see a PO670. What's wrong with me? I'm trying to figure out what the code is. PO672. So we're looking at the status of PO672. Go back. DTC status, and we're going to type in P0672, and we're going to search it. There we go. All right, there's the status of PO672. This ignition cycle, look what it said. It got interrupted, so therefore it's not conclusive. Since cleared, it never got cleared by whoever did the scan to it, failed, and it's failed again ever since the last test. So this is a pretty hard code, which yields me to believe that there is definitely a problem with the glow plug number two and we also got is it requesting the check engine light the answer is yes so there you go okay so just to recap we had two active codes on this truck two failures okay remember once again repeating myself i know i'm repeating again code is a test so therefore every time that key's turned on it runs a series of tests whole bunch of tests for emission related purposes and malfunction purposes too. Hear me correctly, emissions and malfunctions. So is a glow plug an emission control device? Believe it or not, it is. It reduces cold start white smoke, for those of you who don't know. Cold start white smoke. So in this case, the code is a test. So I had two codes set, the EGR P0472 was it, and the 672 code. Um, excuse me, the 402 and the 672. But anyways, the point is, which one's requesting the check engine light or the mill light? There it is, and that's this guy right here. So this is, you know, many times technician can have multiple codes and we're like, well, which one do we address first? Usually it's the one that's requesting the check engine light or the malfunction indicator lamp, better known as the mill. So therefore, definitely this guy right here because he is requesting it, so. So there you go. So I guess what I'm trying to say for us technicians that have to do diagnosis, we got to take advantage of everything the software gives us. So in this case, you know, we definitely want to look at the status or DTC status of the code like I typed in right here under DTC status. So if I get out of here, again, if I look at the menu, I got display codes, code helps, which doesn't help, but freeze frame failure rec, which I just told you about, and DTC, DTC, DTC status. And that's the one where, again, I push it and I could find out the status of the code by typing in the code that I have there. Now, you'll notice I got P codes. Those are the most common codes, but there are other codes. There's chassis codes, body codes, and U codes, which are also known to be network codes. So, all right, there it goes. Thanks for watching.